but yeah, th thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity. Uh, Mr. Speaker, allow me to first uh, inform the CS that members. fund that does that, not members of parliament. But Mr. Speaker, numbers don't lie. The CS has clearly indicated that there is a total of about 16,000 classrooms that are going to be built for purposes of junior secondary school. But Mr. Speaker, the government policy was that every primary school is supposed to transition to junior secondary school and therefore they must have a grade 9 class by January next year. At the same time, Mr. Speaker, some of the schools do not have a single stream. They have more than a single stream, either double or triple. Mr. Speaker, there is over 32,000 primary schools in Kenya. Now, if he's talking about 16,000 uh, classrooms, that obviously does not even reach half the schools. So, Mr. Speaker, I want the CS to tell us, all those schools, more than half in the Republic, that will not have a class ready in January, what exactly are the principals or the heads of the institution supposed to do? Mr. Speaker, secondly, it's also important to note that the number of teachers that he has enumerated here are not enough to teach in all those schools the junior grades. Because junior secondary starts from grade 7, grade 8, and in January 2025, it will be up to grade 9. We don't have enough teachers. What advice is he giving the principals and the heads of the institutions to be able to figure out what to do when the children report in January? And thirdly, Mr. Speaker... Enough, Minister... Mr. Speaker, I have not done... Yes. You are Th now... Thank you, thank you yes. Mr. Speaker. You know, Mr. Speaker, the minister was taking a joyride on my question and was talking about, uh, you know, resources and textbooks. He has also not talked about the laboratories needed for junior secondary school. Can he tell us when we'll get to laboratories and enough for our schools? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Let him answer that first. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What I indicated is that an assessment was done to determine how many classrooms that would be required for the transition from grade 8 to grade 9 of the students that we have, and it came to 16,000 classrooms. And those are the classrooms that the construction uh, by the ministry is being undertaken. Additionally, the National Government Constituency Development Fund uh, in okay. partnership with the ministry would be constructing okay. another 6,800, making a total of uh, uh, 16,000 that I've indicated, 16,000 classrooms. And there is a method that, that was used in assessing which schools require to have which classrooms. Minister, the more important issue is 